Hi, today Ava and I are going to show you how to make uh, Rice Krispie bars or LCM bars. Basically, it's the rice bubble bars. Um, it's a really good party food idea and the best thing about it is that you can make it like four or five days at least, in a, sorry, at the most, in advance of a party. So it's a really good thing. So nice and easy to have some party food ideas that you can make in advance so you're not rushing around the day before or the day of the party. These are so, so easy to make. So what, what I have is I have, I use these little mini marshmallows. You can use some big marshmallows. Um, you can hold them. Um, that's all right. And you can use big marshmallows and cut them up or little ones. So I've got two cups of these. Uh, and I've also got in my melting one, this has also got a 250 gram packet of butter, unsalted butter, which I'm going to melt. I have in my bowl, I have... Rice bubbles. That's right, I have four cups of rice bubbles. And here I have, not vodka, it's homemade vanilla extract. Really easy to make this. Um, it's so expensive to buy. Basically, it's a bottle of vodka, you just get a cheap vodka. Chuck in about eight... Uh, vanilla beans and de-seed them, chuck all the seeds in and then actually chuck the beans in and then just leave it and you know leave it in your in your dark cupboard for six six to eight weeks and um, then strain all the seeds out and you've got vanilla extract it's fantastic okay and then at last I've got my pan you can just grease your pan uh, but seriously I just put baking paper on everything because it's too frustrating for me to have to scrape things out of it I'd rather just you know use a baking paper and be fine. Okay, so first step we're gonna do is gonna melt our marshmallows and our butter. Okay, so we've melted our um, chocolate and butter. Butter and marshmallows. Oh, I always chocolate. I'm gonna put three teaspoons of vanilla, give or take, and just wait over, we'll stir it all in the big one. And then just pour it. Into rice bubbles. Yep, that's right. Mix. Yep, just wait. Here we go. Mix it up. Oops. Oh yeah, I thought that might happen. That's okay. You've got to be really gentle with it. Mix it all together. Good job. Let me just do a little one for you. Keep mixing it over. Oh, careful, just do it really slowly. Okay, and then I've got some hundreds and thousands. You can add whatever you want into this. So you could, you mix it okay, just hang on, I just want to say something quickly. You can do whatever you want with this. You could um, lay it all out and then grab cookie cutters and stamp out the picture you want. I'm just going to make bars really easy. Um, and so we've decided to add hundreds and thousands. Do you want to tip that in, Ava? And just a little bit. Tip the whole packet in. Yep, tip it in. Good one. How can I mix sure, it? Sure, very gently. Yep, oh. yeah, very gently. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it together. Oh, show me. This way. Just wait. Very gently. Okay. <laughs> so our mix is like that. It really tastes nice. I bet it does. Okay, and then we're just going to pour it on our tray. Are we going to roll them? No, we're not going to roll it. We're just going to pour it. Press it into our tray. <gasps> oh, whoops. It's a bit messy, isn't it? <laughs> it's only small. Mm. Mm. Just leave it over. We'll wait till it dries. That's nice. It does. Okay, so if you're going to cut it out into shapes, you obviously need to wait until it's started to harden. Um, if you, you know, if you if you let it totally harden, it's going to be quite hard to cut out into shapes. But uh, so we're going to put ours in the fridge. Just just leave it. I'll use this, honey. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's lots of fun to eat it. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge and then I'm going to cut it into bars once it has hardened. No idea how long it goes in the fridge. Yeah, no idea how long it's going to go in the fridge for. Um, don't know how long it takes to harden, but yeah, I'll, I'll um, just go away, do something and then come back and get it. Thanks. Okay, I've uh, had that in the fridge for a while. I've just been doing a couple of things. I'm just going to cut it up. 
lifts out so nice and easily. using a really sharp knife. Now you can easily dip these in chocolate um, or do something like that, but here you go, delicious. Great for school lunch boxes and great for parties.